Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I want to talk about is there any martial arts I would trade if I could do everything over again and do a one stop shop for everything? Um, yes, actually, I would. I would actually do, um, Kempo, uh, Jeff Speakman Kempo 5.0. Um, I like, I wish, first thing first, I wish I didn't have to travel for everywhere. I wish I could go one place and learn many things. Um, but everybody don't focus. And rightly so, you know, Rightly so, you're gonna focus on what you're good at. And if it's karate, you're gonna focus on karate, kata, uh, joint locks, throws, you know. Um, jiu Jitsu is gonna be um, top mount, full control body, submissions, um, transitions, you know. Um, I just like a martial art that do from top to bottom. Now, there are systems that kind of focus on a little bit, like Krav Maga. And I did Krav Maga for about four months. Um, I call Krav Maga like the introduction to martial arts. It gives you a snippet of a taste of a little bit of everything. Filipino, Muay Thai, um, um, wrestling, Jiu Jitsu, Judo. It does a little bit of everything. But if you was like in a real situation and I'm not knocking the Krav Maga, because there's levels to that Krav Maga. That Krav Maga can get real deep um, and real dangerous real fast, depending on, you know, what version you do uh, and who, who teach it. But it gives you like a little bit of introduction, but if you face somebody really fighting, you know, it's eventually you're not gonna like knee, hip, elbow, this, you know. Um, it's effective, don't get me wrong. But if you don't get them in the first 30 seconds and then they have time to recover, what's your second move you're going to give them? Because if you hit me with an elbow or you hit me with a palm straight to my chin and you try and I feel it and I recover, I'm going to look for that. If I see this, I know what's going to happen and what you have. So um, I liked. I like, one thing I like about American Kempo um, is it has alternative things to do. And I like the quick succession fight stuff. Um, I then, I like the idea of, you know, they teach classes like we're going to have Jiu Jitsu Day. Or, you know, they go do their, their uh, Kempo, then they go draw a, a, a gi and do um, Jiu Jitsu. Any type of strike ground game is always a good thing. I mean, that's either karate, um, you know, uh, karate or judo or boxing and Jiu Jitsu or boxing and cash wrestling or boxing and wrestling. Anything where it gives you a, a ground game because leverage and taking people off their feet take away power because when you punch you punch with power you rotate your hips for power use your inner core when you're on your back you can only punch for so long you know you'll get me a little bit and then but gravity is I'm just gonna smash you <coughs> and put you in maneuver and if this was 
like a real fight situation, I'm going to, you know, get you on the ground, smash you, get your uncompromised position, stretch you out, and then I'm just going to well on you, elbow into your neckline until you knock out. People, people think they're way too invincible. You get hit anywhere here, it's a knockout point. It if you strangle somebody, it's, it's, this is the line to keep this going. The blood, all that. I mean, I, I don't know the scientific of it all. I took A&P twice, different version of it. But you, if you know that this is all connected. And then people think about TBIs, traumatic brain injuries, and any type of blood blunt force or choke to the head oh my god it's so easy for this to make you into a paraplegic seriously so i will probably kind of go with that combination system but if there was a martial art i would practice as i get older it would definitely be filipino martial arts <coughs> It would definitely be Filipino martial arts um, because anything can become a weapon in your hand and that can take leverage, you know. But if you can do anything with a ground game, you always in a good position. Always, 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 always in a good position. Um, you know, and that's, that's kind of what I would kind of focus on. I like the speed of Kempo. I like the different angles. Now, like like most people say, they nobody going to, you know, let you tap dance and hit you 5,000 times like you, you know, Bruce Lee, uh, and you just going to take it. But it gives you a ideal phase and a realistic phase. I think there's three phases that how Kempo goes. Um, and give you different ways of doing things. Um, if you have the strength, then, you know, and strength, youth, and speed, and power, boxing, because I don't know anybody who got hands faster than boxing. Uh, and Kempo is fast, but boxing is, is boxing. You knock people heads off. <clears throat> but if you have any type of combination, any type of strike is good. Karate is great too. Don't get me wrong. Karate is just great. And you look at all these drills you watch on TVs and stuff, and all of them come from some form of karate. And remember, karate is thousands of years old. And they use this for war. So. You may say kata this and that, but these people, <laughs> they did this under wartime. You know, they learned these moves under death, you know. So, um, Japanese were very good at war um, in, in their time, time frame in China. Um, don't disregard the people that kind of started it all. I know we may evolve to more Americanized Western things, but they are the masters of the universe that started it all. And I'm not saying other countries don't because they got their own version. Um, but since I do Japanese traditional martial arts, that's kind of what I focus on. So that's it. Have a good one.